Good morning, Mentam family, and welcome to another vlog. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your day. As for me, I'm pretty excited here because I just woke up to this. My girl Ariel just finished shedding her skin literally just minutes ago. And of course, she also left a little present on the at the edge of her cage here. Um, but really, though, I'm really glad she finally came out of shed. I just noticed her starting to do it maybe like a half hour ago or so somewhere around there. And literally in no time, she just got done doing it. And literally, it looks just about completely perfect mostly in one piece but uh, there is still a few pieces scattered around but overall it doesn't look like she's got any stuck shed whatsoever so I think we can go ahead actually and take the shed out and clean up her poop here in a few couple minutes so let's go ahead and jump right into it and I hope you guys are having a great start to your day tell me in the comments below what you guys are doing for your day today all right so I just got a shipment of frozen rodents in from cold-blooded cafe so a big shout out to them for actually uh let me actually get the chance to well actually you know what this is kind of my first time actually ordering from cold blood cafe so i'm gonna go ahead and leave their links down below in the description to their facebook instagram whatever they have you guys so go show them some love so thank you desiree for actually uh, shipping this for me i really appreciate it so let's go ahead and open it up i don't know if you guys honestly want to see frozen rodents you know because there's really nothing interesting about that but uh <laughs> i actually kind of do need them because van halen has been only eating some pieces of earthworms but we want to get him to start eating frozen thought pinkies so hopefully here we can get him to grow up really quick here with these pinkies and uh, we'll see how it goes he is due to eat tomorrow so let's see how well that goes but uh so yeah this is a big box that's definitely for sure so um i'm just gonna try and go ahead and see if i can open it but with these staples that's gonna be uh, quite a bit of a challenge. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna try and see if my girl Ellie here will take a fuzzy here because it's been about two, three weeks now since she's eaten and um, the last time I tried to offer her food was like maybe four days ago, five days ago, and she was not hungry at all. So I'm gonna try again and see if she'll take it and uh, hopefully she will. She seems interested, but I'm not too confident. All right, girl, come on. Can we see your pretty face? Alright, she's going right up to it. Come on, Ellie. Please take it for me, girl. You gotta eat, honey. You gotta eat. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll just go ahead and leave her alone and just see what happens since she'll take it on her own, you guys, because sometimes snakes will do that, you know, like if you just leave the meal in the cage for them, they'll eventually find it and probably check it out and probably take care of it themselves. So let's go ahead and see what my girl Lucy is gonna do because last time uh i don't know if i filmed it last time but she really wasn't that interested in food but let's go ahead and see if she's interested this time okay so literally you guys off camera i didn't record me showing the rodents because i thought maybe it'd be a little too gross for you but not too long after i opened the package um you know like when people stack frozen rodents inside a box they obviously have to add ice in there well apparently i was not too smart and I reached down my hand into the box bare with my bare hand and I pull out a bag and actually it turns out you guys they put dry ice in here and I'm, I'm not gonna be a I'm not being a like a hypocrite or criticizing for what cold-blooded cafe did but it's it's my fault for what I did um, I put my hand in there and I didn't realize the bag of ice was not regular ice it was actually dry ice and I, I didn't know what it was at the time at first, you know, I didn't think it was a big deal, but then I could feel the burn from that dry ice immediately within about maybe five seconds after touching it. And I couldn't believe, I, I still can't believe I did that. I'm a complete idiot for that. And I, I know you guys are thinking, well, what, what, you're, you're lucky you didn't get frostbite. I'm glad I didn't get frostbite because dry ice can cause frostbite very, very quickly within literally in under a minute. And so, lesson learned. Hopefully I never do that again. So, regardless, uh, that's that pretty much settles it. So, and uh, well, what are you doing over here? Oh, you're begging for a treat, okay. But Garrett wants a treat. But yeah, lesson learned. Never ever handle dry ice with your bare hand. That's just 
that's almost like asking for death right there. So I want to cover something for you guys on the vlog here. Um, you know, believe it or not, I got a phone call from a friend of mine a few months ago. Um, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want him to get a little upset with me. But he told me his pet snake actually got loose because it was a garter snake. Kind of like my like Van Halen here, for example. Because he's just a baby. But the snake got out and uh, he, told, he asked me like what he should do. Like, in case, like, since it got out. Well, I gave him a couple of ideas. Like, obviously one was, um, like, I asked him, what does the snake eat, you know? And he told me it would eat worms and mice. And, um, well, I told him to maybe leave out a frozen thawed mouse, um, out somewhere where the snake, um, likes to hide, you know? Like, find a little spot where, because most of the time, you guys, snakes like to hide, you know? That's their, most of the time, what they want to do, both day and night. So, cause, and I told him that, and he decided to give it a whirl, but since then I never got back with him. You know, I haven't heard anything at all, so I, honestly, <laughs> but Gara's knocking at my door, sorry about that. Like I was saying is, is that his snake got out, and to this very day, I don't know if he found it, or if it was gone. I don't know. So... I have not received any word on what happened so my topic so this topic of the vlog is gonna be like obviously what should you do like if your snake escapes well obviously one thing is try to not panic and start running all over the place or put your high heels on and run outside because I mean obviously that's the worst case scenario to do the best thing you could try and do is try and stay calm you know like check to figure out where do you think your snake got out like how did it get loose because we got to remember snakes are escape artists they are very smart they will literally they can crawl through some of the thinnest gaps than where even our little pinkies here they can't fit right in like like i said you guys van halen here he's just a baby so he can literally squeeze right through anything and um speaking of a snake escape you guys I don't know if I ever told you the story about this or not, but a couple years ago, my girl Ariel here accidentally got loose in our house. Um, it was actually in a bigger tank that I got her about three, four, two, no, yeah, three or four years ago. It was before she got moved into this enclosure. It was a big, big 30 gallon, like, it was a giant, actually, aquarium that had water in it, but um, it got drained out. And, uh, ooh, ooh, she's turned on for food now, you guys. Well, the good news is, for her, it is feeding day, so I'm going to give her a little bit of food later on. Wait, today's the 28th, so tomorrow she gets feed food. So, this girl got out, and she was she was on the loose for a good three, four days. And, actually, no, I take that back. She got out twice. Uh, the first time she got out, didn't even find her, found her in less than a day. She actually was hiding right at the bottom of this bookshelf right down here tucked underneath there which I didn't think that was a good hiding spot for her but the second time she got out that got me worried because she was gone longer than, than I expected but I found her um, just a few nights later after she got out and she was peeking out right back here behind this shelf right out here right outside my front door here and I didn't know where exactly where she would be you guys but I was I was glad she didn't go that far because really, she's never been outside of my room before, so she probably maybe didn't know exactly maybe where to go. And my biggest fear was is that we have cats here, and I was scared that maybe one of the cats would find her and probably want to try and uh, probably toy around with her. And I don't want that to happen. So thankfully, though, we immediately bought this cage for my girl Ariel here. And since then, we've never had a snake escape again. And I promise you, you guys, this is very important. You need a secure enclosure like this and make sure there is no way your snake can get out. That's very, very important. And this lesson learned that this girl, she is big, but she's smart though. She will find a way to get out, you guys. Any snake for that matter. This little guy here, he can find a way out too. I mean, he's just so little. He's only like six, seven inches. And finding a baby snake that small in this house, it's practically going to be almost impossible uh he could literally fit through any tiny little crevices you guys 
literally could like just squeeze like right underneath anything here. Maybe even try get under this little mattress here, you guys, right underneath there. He could try that if he wanted to. And it, it literally, it could, it's gonna be a disaster and it, it's gonna be a long day if, if a baby snake gets out. So that's why you guys gotta be, that's why new snake pet owners need to you get prepared for it. You know, like get this kind of cage, for example, you know, it's very tightly secured. Make sure the lid is securely tight on and make sure there's no little thing gap the snake push its way out, you know, because you don't want that to happen. So, basically, I like I said, my friend that lost his pet snake, I have not heard anything from him since then. So, I mean, I really do feel bad for him, you know, but things happen, you guys. It's It happens in life. This is part of keeping it reptiles, you know, because not just snakes you guys have gotten loose. Some people have lost, like, their pet bearded dragons, leopard geckos, uh, maybe uh, their pet skinks other reptiles you know because they'll find a way to get out too you guys they're smart so anyway uh, I feel like I just wanted to cover that for you guys um, so if you guys really do want to know where what you think you should do if your pet snake escapes um, obviously it's definitely for sure you need to look through some tight gaps where a snake could try and squeeze through you know because like I said snakes like to hide in small spaces you know where it's dark and um, that's definitely a one thing for sure so um, and you got to keep looking hard. That's obviously one big thing is you got to keep looking hard. Do not stop you guys. Do not stop until you find that snake. Before, if you have any other pets like a cat or a dog, yeah, that's one of your big factors right there you need to watch out for because I was scared our cat Boo was going to find it and try and eat her. That's what I was scared of. So, but thank, thank the Lord I found her before Boo ever did. So, anyway, yeah, that is one of the most important things about if your pet snake escapes so I hope you guys can take that advice um I feel like I I feel like there's a lot more to that though um maybe I'll do another video on this or maybe on my second channel I'll put a link down below in my second channel and maybe I'll do a video on it and maybe go full detail on it so but regardless though um I'm, I'm really glad that I have taken immediate action to prevent from something like this happening again so so for any of you guys that are just getting into pet reptiles make sure that anything that is like whatever it's a lid or there's a little piece of a screen that's kind of loose kind of like oh yeah and this right here you guys see that he could try and squeeze the little van halen here could try and squeeze through there if he wanted to but he's so little right now he can't even do it yet so hopefully that doesn't happen but like i said all i can do is just keep an eye on him and just just see where things go but like i said we just gotta we gotta pay more attention to what we're doing so regardless I hope uh, that helps you guys. Let's go ahead and check a quick update to see if my girl Lucy ate that fuzzy mouse. And yep, she did, you guys. I thought she would because she, after she tried to be camera shy about it earlier, I decided to go ahead and actually get a little plastic little bowl that's like a food bowl that ZooMed produced. So again, not being sponsored by ZooMed for that. Um, I decided to place the fuzzy mouse on that little food bowl and just leave it here throughout the night and throughout the day just to see if Lucy would take it or not came home and sure enough she devoured it so and as you can see she is still a little camera shy because she's slowly like scooting backwards which is just kind of goofy so anyway there you go but as for my girl Roxy though I decided that uh <laughs> my girl Roxy oh you haven't eaten that fuzzy mouse not good Ellie, my children's python, was not hungry at all. She was just being a defense bite she was giving me at the mouse. So I really don't know what to do right now. I don't know, you guys. Like, Let me know in the comments below what I should do. Because I'm running out of ideas here, you know. Because I know this UVB bulb, you guys know. It gives off a lot of, like, radiation that's actually healthy for uh, reptiles. I know that. But the only downside is it doesn't give off much heat, so... Like, should I just go sweat, switch back to a uh, heat lamp, or should I just stick with this for now? Because right now, if I want my girl Ellie to eat, she's kind of actually has have some heat on her body. So, I don't know. Like I said, let me know in the comments below, you guys, and tell me what your thoughts are. I figure I'd give you guys a quick update on what the squirrel problem has been going. Lately, not much has changed. But as you can see, we had fresh powder of snow actually just come in earlier today. But if you look closely... You can see it look, looks like a pair of foot feet have actually been coming through here. And of course, 
that squirrel, we actually have heard him a few times crawling right up in here overnight, especially by my bedroom window. It, it's getting pretty annoying, but he's been all over the place, you guys, so... I mean, right now, we don't know what exactly what to do with the squirrel. I mean, he's not super active, but we just really don't have a plan right now. But hopefully by the time most of the snow is gone, maybe he'll leave us alone. But if he doesn't, we're going to have to, like I said, we're going to have to take action then. So, but yeah, that's the quick update for you guys. Uh, nothing new with the squirrel. So I hope you guys now understand maybe a few ways of what to do if your pet snake escapes from its enclosure. Or if it's like a rack system, what I have there as well. Um... Follow those steps, you guys. It's just obviously one of them is to remain calm and just check to, check in some very tight little gaps. Actually, see if you could see a snake would crawl in there. Like I said, right here would be a good spot to do it. So, um, if you guys want me to cover a little bit more in detail, I can do that for you in a future vlog. So, regardless, though, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the night. If you're new to my channel, you guys, smash that subscribe button for me and turn on that notification bell and let me know in the comments below and tell me how your guys' day was. And I promise. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.